Yo, what's good everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a full guide on exactly how to navigate and use SoulScan. If you don't know what SoulScan is, it's a blockchain explorer. Same thing as basically an Etherscan, right? Or any of these other blockchain explorers. And if you don't already know, everything is on chain, right? What people pay in fees, where people send to their other wallets, right? And a lot of people don't use this to their advantage, right? You can it get an insane advantage if you know how to use it, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So without wasting any time, Let's get started. So we do get a lot of information on Axiom, right? We could see the holders, we can see how much they're holding, right? And it pulls stuff like that from the blockchain, of course, right? It's from, you know, SoulScan, whatever. We can see the insiders, if the DEX is paid, how much people buy with, right? Because back then we had a trade, let's say on DEX screener, right? We go to DEX screener, and let's click this random coin, for example, right? And we would go and swap this on our Phantom wallet. But things have changed, right? We went from doing that to moving on to platforms like Photon. Or actually, before that, we moved on to Telegram bots, right? Like Pepe Boost or whatever, just any of these, right? And then we moved on to Photon. And then we moved on to Bullex and then Bullex Neo. And then after Bullex Neo, we got Axiom, right? And by far, Axiom is the best platform to trade on, right? It has the best analytics, the fastest platform. Etc. I, I don't need to go on and on about it, but if you guys want the link to Axiom, if you want to get discounted fees as well as entered into infinite giveaways, because I do giveaways for people to use my link, then use my link, right? It's literally free and you literally get paid in fees. So, you know, if you trade a lot, you're going to make a lot of money in fees. Like I've already earned like 60 or 70 soul just off of fees. Now, well, how can we use soul scan to our advantage, right? How can we be other traders? Well, for example, let me just show you. How do we get in front of Cupsy, right? We want to see how much he pays in fees. So what we're going to do is cup, copy Cupsy's wallet, right? So we just copy this. We'll paste it into here, control V, and you can see it's already named Cupsy, right? So we could see his wallet. So his last transaction was four minutes ago, four minutes ago, four minutes ago, right? And we could see that the same thing on here, right? It was four minutes ago, but we want to go more in depth, right? We want to analyze this a little bit more. So we're going to be like, okay, so he has actually 575 souls. So that's around 117K in this wallet. And he has just some burner tokens, right? $35, so just some dust, right? Now, we can see he was funded by Coinbase, right? The Coinbase hot wallet. And we can even look more in depth, right? So we'd be like, okay, how much is he paying in fees? Well, it shows us right here. He's paying 0 0.001. So this is actually the preset that I use most of the time, right? So we could see 0 0.001. Now, if you wanted to, like, say, get ahead of his fees, right? You could do 0 0.013. And you'll technically have a higher fee. So as long as you don't have like trash internet connection, you're going to be basically getting in front. If you push this transaction at the same exact time that Cupsy did, the blockchain is going to prefer the higher fee, right? They're going to take that. They're going to put that order on the top of the list before, you know, the lower fees. That's basically how it works. Now, if you have your own RPC and I have to show you guys how to set that up as well in my server then you'll be able to get even faster transaction times, right? With these low fees, the triple zero, right? 0 0.0001, I literally get like insta fills, insta fills with like the lowest, like two cent fees, which is nothing, right? And then I can bump it up to here or even my higher fees, 0 0.005, right? So Cupsy's not even paying that much in fees, but he most likely also has his own, you know, node, RPC node, because yes, the Axiom one is really quick, but you can customize your own, right? Let's go to here. You can customize your own. I show you guys how to do that in my server. And you can even do it for free, right? Or you can have a paid node, which I'm like 90% sure Cupsy has a paid node, right? He probably pays 100, 200 a month. And you literally get filled like the millisecond you push the button. So this is like crazy, crazy alpha, right? But it's not just looking about how much people paid in fees, right? We can even go to like the beginning of the coin, right? Let's say we wanted to see Okay, how much did the snipers pay in order to get in first? So someone sniped the dev bot with three soul, and then someone sniped with one soul. So let's be like, okay, how much did this guy pay, right? So we can click on his wallet. We're going to copy this, and then we're going to go to soul scan. Let's search up his wallet. Search. Let's see, actually, did I put that in right? Perfect. Okay. So then we could see the last token he traded was around... 20 minutes ago, it was called Forex. And let's try to find his, it was on Photon. We could see what trading platform he's using as well. And yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of investigation here. So he bought in with one soul. I'm guessing it's this one. 
and then we could just double check he swapped the 4x token so he bought in 4x token right here with one soul beautiful okay so this is it and how much did he pay in fees he paid 0 0.002 so that's actually double of what cups he's paying right which guys realistically 40 cents is nothing in fees right but like cups he's paying 20 cents you don't need that much fees in solana right the most important thing is actually going to be your priority fees. So if you don't know what priority fee is, it's basically MEV protection, right? I highly, highly, highly recommend whether you're using Bloom to snipe, right? Which is through Telegram or whether you're using Axiom or Padre, whatever platform to buy snipe coins, etc. I highly every single time recommend using MEV protection, right? And the tip is using it on reduced. Don't use it on secure because secure is going to make your transactions a lot slower. But um, yeah, I would do it on reduced. The only time I would use secure is if I'm buying like a lot of a coin at a big market cap or whatever, right? And I don't ever want to get mevved. But with reduced, you're going to be completely fine and you don't really need it on sell, right? But the thing is with mev protection, if you guys don't know what mevs are, they're sandwich bots, right? So let's say if I bought, you know, let's say three soul, right? Right here. And someone could have bought the mevs are basically bots that scan the blockchain and they'll see your transaction they'll put a higher fee than you to get in front of you and then they'll get out right before you can sell right so they sandwich your transaction and they make you basically let's say you bought in right here at 10k you you could have gotten mev to 15k they'll instantly sell so the price is still technically at 10k but you got filled at 15k right so you could literally buy and be down 50 percent. this is why it's so important to use mev protection now, if you're using like $2, $3 to trade, like you're never going to get, it's it's a waste of money for the MEV to, you know, for them to put a higher fee, whatever. But if you're trading with like, you know, 0.5, one soul, et cetera, like higher amounts, you know, the MEVs are going to be targeting those kind of bigger buys, right? Because that's how they can make profit. So you want to put the MEV protection on reduced, right? This is going to make sure it's a lot faster, you know, and also I have my custom RPC, slippage etc so 0 0.001 that's nothing guys that's 20 cents so if you're buying with 200 dollars you're losing 40 cents in fees to in order to get super 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 fast fills right now i could even go down to this preset right here the 0 0.001 this is still pretty decent fees and you get filled really quickly and you're only sp spending two to four cents on fees which is nothing right if you're using two to four cents to trade then you should probably try to find something else right because you, you need at least a little bit, right? And if you guys don't have any soul to trade with, I highly recommend doing the free crypto bonuses. I did all the hard work for you guys in the Discord to find all these, you know, whether it's Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, all these different exchanges, they give out free crypto for people that sign up and, you know, do their first deposit or first trade, right? And you can just farm these, they're super easy. easy. Um, you can easily make like five to $700, right? So then you have a three, four, five soul head start. And if you lose it all, you learned a bunch of lessons, and you really didn't lose anything at the end of the day, right? Because it was basically free. So moving from that, right? What can we, what else can we use SoulScan for? So if we were to, you know, technically on paper, this guy paid 0 0.002. So he paid 41 cents. The coin we were looking at, Forex, right? To get the first trans, you're never going to get before the dev, right? Because he's the one that creates the coin. But he got the first one after, right? He sniped it. Someone else sniped it. He got in right after he did, right? And he could have made a decent amount of money, right? We could see where he entered and we could even check where he exited, right? Let's see, one soul, D9. Let's see how much he sold for. Looks like he's trading again now. So let's try to find back. Um, looks like he's still trading. Okay, so basically, if you were to put a higher fee, right? 0 0.003 instead of 0 0.002, then you technically on paper would get ahead of his transaction. Right now, this isn't always the case, but this is a majority of the time the case, right? Depending, because think about if he's like, let's say he lives in Miami and he has like the best internet connection, you know, whatever, then he's probably going to get filled before you. But most of the time, if you do have a higher fee, then you're going to be fine, right? But you really don't need to go too crazy on the normal fee, right? You could do 0 0.002 and then you want to upgrade the priority fee, right? Because this is what you're tipping GDO, which is going to be your MEV protection. And if you have a higher tip, they're going to put your transaction higher up on the list or like higher up on the priority. And then you get filled a lot quicker. So this is super, super important because think about it, right? You've seen like, let's go to like, let me find Fartcoin dev real quick. I'm sure everybody's seen this guy. He like will buy with some insane amount. Let's find it. Um, 17 hours ago. Bum. Let's find out. Okay. Let's see how far we can go back 17 hours ago. Hopefully, okay, 
let's see this here. Look at how insane this chart is, right? He buys it and it instantly migrates. So if these snipers, if you were to get ahead of these snipers, imagine getting filled right after his buy. The thing is you have to be careful with this, right? Because you could get mass extracted. Someone, he bought in with 40 souls, someone bought in with 10, someone bought in with 35. And they're probably paying 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 at least, right? It, the minimum. Some of them are paying half a soul to a soul in fees to try to get ahead of everybody else. And it's just like a mass extraction fest, right? Look how much he made, 30K. He does this basically every single day, right? He is printing. Now, how would you make money? Well, you wait for like one of these mass extractions. So you see him launch, right? And then it migrates, boom. And then dumps all the way down to 36K. Like that is so easy. You could just buy that, scalp it up to 72X, right? Or just let it, if it's a good to token, you just check it real quick. Look, it ran all the way up like that, right? Because it's the Farcoin dev, right? If you guys don't know what Farcoin is, it's like some crazy coin that went up to, I think like a billion or 2 billion. Let me find it. Yeah, it's sitting at 700 mil, right? So every new token he creates, people are going to snipe it. So you don't necessarily have to, you know, snipe the fart coin dev, but it could be another another coin and maybe a dev that's not as obvious, right? And not, not as like popular that's going to get sniped, but you know, like he makes good consistent coins and you could use a tool like Bloom, right? Through Telegram and snipe, set your fees a little bit higher, be like, okay, the last people let's say the last three projects, the people did 0.001 for their fees. If I do 0.002, like there's a really big chance I just get ahead of all these guys and I can first TX it, right? And then you know what, it go, well, you know what happens from there, right? You just start printing. So yeah, th this video is basically breaking down exactly how to use soul scan. Um, it gives you a lot more details on, you know, what these people are paying in fees. You could even see, oh, where are they transferring their money to, right? Like for example, let's look at this debt or this um, this guy that sniped the coin. So we could look at transfers. So he's transferred 0.57 sold to this account. He was funded by this wallet. So 9D. This wallet has 5K in soul, uh, 4.6K in just random tokens, right? So it looks like USDC. And then we, he was funded by this wallet. That wallet was funded by this wallet. It has another some more in USDC. Let's look at who, where this wallet was funded from, 6K. So this guy's this guy might be an insider, who knows, right? We could keep finding where it's funded to until we find, oh, it was funded by Coin, Coinbase or Binance or whatever, right? So then this wallet was funded by this wallet and we can keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper until we find like, oh, this was this is the main wallet, right? And then we could once we find the main wallet, we could be like, oh, the main wallet sent this much sold to this new wallet, right? And then you could just snipe that wallet and they'll make, let's say they make a coin. So you can track all the insider stuff, which they're trying to like hide, right? Cause it's not gonna show you on, on a trading platform, right? You could be like, oh, this guy's sending this soul to this wallet. He's about to launch a coin. You could snipe that wallet and just absolutely print. So I hope that helped you guys. If you guys have any questions or, you know, anything, etc., cetera, whatever, um, feel free to drop a comment down below. I try to get back to everybody and make sure you guys are in the discord, right? We have a free trading discord, a lot of really cool people in there. If you guys are you know, new or just you've been trading for a while, I highly recommend trading with other people because it's really just like, you know, it's almost like a video game, right? You're versing other people. So you want to have the best advantage and you want to have a good squad, right? I also have the paid section in my server, right? VIP, you can get one-on-ones with me and you have full course videos in there. So lots of really, really good alpha in there. So I just wanted to plug that in because, you know, it's, there's a lot of value for, it's literally like the price of lunch for the week. So a lot of value in there. And yeah, um, it just make sure you guys drop a like, of course, smash that like button. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.